guys, Happy New Year and we're at the Slough HMO. I thought I'll give you a really uh, detailed update of the upstairs and the outside. We can't go on the ground floor because they're tiling away. Uh, so uh, let's go on and have a look. A lot happened uh, over the break actually. A lot of them were working outside of the Christmas uh, holidays. So let's have a look. Uh, here, and actually I've got uh, a new joiner with me here, Ollie, who's one of my apprentices, oh. thought he'd join another video and he might have some comments and that I might miss out. So, hi Ollie. Let me see so, this, we are in the room which is on the uh, floor above the double story extension, um, which you've seen in the video outside. So, you can see size of a room. Obviously, since our last update, a lot's been done. The flooring has uh, pretty much been completed. The bathrooms, uh, second fix is almost completed. Uh, however, there has been some issues with sourcing materials. Um, we can't find shower enclosures. There's been an issue with getting all the tiles sorted out and getting it, uh, them uh, to site. Uh, I know the windows, we ordered them just in time, but anything that's out of the ordinary in terms of tiling, whether that's floor tiling, roof tiling, any glass related items, windows, anything that's out of spec. So I know our windows are gray on the outside and white on the inside. Uh, those sort of out of spec uh, supply items are taking a lot, lot longer and have gone up a lot in price. So guys, if you're looking to do or kickstart any of your reefer projects this year, make sure you factor those in with the timings. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a really good contrast going. You've got the dark gray, sort of matte tiles with the shiny gray uh, gloss um, wall, wall tiles, floor to ceiling with a good spec. There's obviously some finishing left to do here and the shower and enclosure still to go. Um, the bed will be, will be going here, so a lovely massive bin, window and lots of light coming through. Here you can see this uh, new kitchenette style uh, little counter we've got going. So here you have space for the toaster and microwave uh, and upstairs just some uh, storage shelves and there'll be a fridge freezer that will go in here. So it's you know purely a self-contained room and I think this room amongst a couple of other rooms as well would be great for couples because it's nice and big, you've got a private ensuite suite and a little, a little kitchenette. So let's go and have a look at the other rooms. Here, uh, obviously now with the dormer, there's a lot more light coming in. Um, same sort of progress, but you can also see a little bit of detailed uh, carving going on here in grey. So that would be a lovely little contrast to the walls that are going to be pure white uh, when they'll be finished. Um, all the bathrooms obviously have been done in a similar spec. But this one here has got a good sized bathroom um, and the shower enclosure has not been done. So I think that still needs to be done yeah. actually. Again, as you can see, running out of supplies on shower trays and enclosures. So uh, hopefully that's coming in the pipeline. But yeah, similar spec of room, um, kitchenette uh, being done. Um, we've got the in-house carpentry team who's doing that. From the last video, you can see all the rats have gone in or going in as we speak. This, from memory, if you remember, was the master bedroom and was one of the largest rooms in the house. Uh, so that's come out really, really nice. Again, as you can see, same sort of detailing and specking throughout. I have a look. This then overlooks the uh, single story back extension at the back and the garden. So a really nice aspect and outlook to the room. Again, a really good size. Uh, so really, really uh, pleased with the sizes that we managed to achieve for all the rooms. Uh, and let's have a look at the fourth. Just one thing up here, there's going to be some loads of storage for the uh, tenants. So as you can see, it's come all the way out here. So they can just bring it down from here, go up and they can kind of use the storage area for whatever they need. Yeah, that's a good point actually, Yeah, They boarded it up, I think, yeah. for that reason. Um, I remember there was a big uh, contentious issue with Romy and me because I wanted to get the, the loft uh, converted mm. into a bedroom and he had obviously looked at all the costs uh, versus some of the complications that were coming in to doing that. So we obviously went against that. Uh, so now it's going to be a six bed HMO and then we need to apply for planning for the seventh room. So that's where we are at. Here, again, this room, if you remember from memory, 
This has incorporated now the communal bathroom, which was the main little bathroom in the house. That's now part of this room here. And the um, toilets have all been stacked next to each other, you know, with the stack uh, going into a common stack going together. Uh, feel free to have a look at the bathroom. A lovely uh, size once again. So, uh, and this room here has a double aspect window. So this was the original window of the communal bathroom, which obviously, as I mentioned earlier, has been brought in. And this really nice kitchenette space, which obviously makes the room a lot more self-contained. Uh, but there won't be any kitchen facilities or cooking facilities allowed in any of the rooms. Guys, I'm Manny Chopra here, and I'm at the Slough site. And here we are. Um, if you can remember from memory, obviously this was all uh, with a brick look, but now with a new k look, it's all been completed. And it's giving you this really, really uh, good you know, look and feel with the contrasting uh, grey windows and the dark grey uh, tiles. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the back of the property. But as you can see, it's created a very large area of land, um, well, uh, block paving, but lots of car parking space. So I think we counted, we've got about five car parking spaces in uh, parallel and possibly another one there in tandem. So potentially six cars parking spaces one for each tenant uh, which is great because you know in Slough and I'm sure other areas as well finding parking has been a huge issue uh, so let's quickly have a look at the back of the property because we can't go to uh, the from the front and as uh, they're floor tiling right now You can't really go in actually, but just I'll give you a quick sort of viewing of what's going on at the back. They're still doing the plastering actually of the room, which is the, the open plan kitchen dining room and the kitchenette's going to go in next week. Um, but yeah, so in terms of the landscaping, that all bit is going to be um, sort of turf and the rest has all been uh, landscaped with the uh, tiles. And uh, was there anything else, Oli, to mention? Just cool well hopefully you've enjoyed uh, that video and uh, please like and subscribe to get all our videos to your inbox thank you